car's back that way, bitch. You're heading back to your car, ain't you? Yeah, of course. I I just got lost. I guess so. For a second there, we thought you was trying to cheat Mr. Rasky out of his mask. Hey, he paid me good money to get the mask for him. It's all his. I'm happy to hear you say that, bitch. Hand it over. Sure thing. I'm kind of surprised at you, Pete. Following me around like you don't trust me? Yeah, well, you know how Mr. Raziski is. Always protecting his investments. Johnny, please kill, bitch. Hold it! This is one of the replicas Mr. Raziski had made. It's a fake. Really? Then this one must be the real thing. Say hi to Satan for me, boys. Ah! What a weird dream. Was it? Is that where you came from? How the hell did you get up here? Did this Mitch guy bring you? Ah, uh, who cares? I got enough trouble trying to figure out how I can safely get rid of this thing. Because I obviously can't destroy it. Can't just throw it away. Somebody else would find it. And so far as I know, I'm the only person who's had this thing without abusing it. That last guy really made a mess of this city. I just wish there were some way for me to undo that damage. Nah. Glad to see you back on the streets. You know, I had a lot to do with that. Not that you owe me anything, certainly not. Not a thing. Alright, let's get down to business. I flew back up here from Miami because I knew you would only deal directly with me after our misunderstanding, shall we say. I'm taking a risk being up here like this, but it's important to me that you are satisfied. The point... The thing is, that big head bastard is back, and he's making real trouble for me. For everybody. Uh, I'm taking some measures, of course, but I'll still need protection, and I know if... if anyone can protect me... For God's sake, Walter, stop it! You're making me sick! I mean, you could hurt yourself doing that. Uh, I'm awfully sorry, Walter. It's just all the strain I've been under. You can do whatever you want. It's none of my business. Gee, Walter. I hope this doesn't mean you won't take the job. I wonder if anything is still happening here. After all, I killed only a few of those cronies. Then again, none of them seem bright enough to do anything without constant supervision. <sighs> oh, I'm dreadfully sorry. It's all my fault. Whatever. Forget it, okay? Hmm? Why does that guy look so familiar? What the hell? Special delivery for Big Ed! My god, I gotta do something. Got to. Oh. Alright, you win! You know, I was supposed to shoot two rockets into that place. Don't worry, pal. I think we got Big Head's attention. Oh. Ah, my arm! Ah! Ah! Shut up! Get this straight, scumbag. The only reason you're still alive is because you're taking me to whoever it is you work for, right? Mm-hmm. So far, so good. I'm in total control. Now if I could just figure out where this gun came from. You remember that time we busted Rolo in the train station, John? He was in the stall and you shouted, Don't make any sudden moves, Rolo. Just come out with your hands up. <laughs> and then Rolo comes... <laughs> Comes out with his pants! His pants! Ah, oh, Jesus. What am I doing? You can't hear me. I must be going nuts. Not at all. Huh? It's very therapeutic to talk to patients in a coma. Helps them recover. Is he a friend? Partner. We were on the force together. Right. Kellaway. He was in the papers a lot when the big head killing started. Yeah, we worked that case together. He really hated that SOB. He'd probably flip if he knew Big Head was back again. Have you told him? Well, I don't know how therapeutic it'd be, but hearing about Big Head just might get a rise out of him. Say, you wouldn't, maybe, want to grab a cup of coffee with me? You are sure your friend won't mind? I think he'll understand. I don't like this. It's getting awfully late. Hey, you hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the roof! Daddy! Eddie was very cooperative. He brought me right to you. Exactly as I told him to. Then why did you kill him? Because he did exactly as you told him to first. Hey, didn't Big Head used to be a guy? 
Who cares? I don't care. I really don't. Just please, please, please don't hurt me. Don't you want us to shoot her? Don't listen to them. They won't hurt you. I can give you money. Is that what you want? So this is the great Don Caesar Mazzo. Coward, it's almost not worth killing you. Almost. I don't friggin' believe it. Walter killed Big Head.